If you're watching this channel, likely it is you know who Jim Cramer is. He's a loud, outspoken media personality on CNBC. Bulls make money. Bears make money. Pigs, well, they get slaughtered. Kramer is notorious for being extremely opinionated and he's not shy about bringing these opinions to stocks. When I woke up this morning, I realized today's the perfect day to bet against Jim Kramer. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. I'm gonna explain why I'm doing what I'm doing, betting $10,000 against Jim Kramer's stock recommendations, and also discuss for me personally why this may not be as risky as it seems. And finally, I'm gonna talk about the stocks that I went against Jim Kramer with, which are the first three recommendations that I heard this morning. With that in mind, let's get into talking about why I'm doing this. Disclaimer, this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. This is only meant for my content. And it comes down to a gut feeling that starts at the beginning of COVID. Honestly, I have not been able to understand anything that's happened financially during COVID over the last three years. Everything seems like it's been counterintuitive. When COVID hit and a pandemic was taking over the world, I thought the markets would tank. And they did for a bit and then they shot back up. Then we introduced stimulus, then inflation went up, and still the market kept climbing and climbing and climbing. And finally, at the end of 2022, you saw tech stocks come down a little bit, but for the most part, we're still in this crazy high inflated multiple scenario. And I, when I say inflated multiples, I'm talking about the biggest companies in the world trading at 30x what their earnings are, which is a very high number. Couple that with other anecdotal things that continue to make me feel weird about what's going on. Apple, a company that has been one of the most successful companies in the world for decades, hit $1 trillion in 2018. Then they hit $2 trillion in 2021. Now they're at $3 trillion. And it just feels like the top and these really rich companies continue to get richer and richer and richer really fast. When is this gonna stop? Right now I'm just thinking the market's too rich and that leaves me with a couple options. First could be I could sell my positions and I could go invest in like a high yield savings account. I could buy US treasuries. I don't wanna hold cash, but I could just hold cash and look for other opportunities that come up. Or I could just keep my money in the market and hope that all of this continues forever. But at this point, I'm thinking, you know what? I wanna actually hedge so much that I'm betting against the market. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to pick a few stocks, bet against them, and that way if the market comes down, in theory, these stocks would go down and I would profit from those. So while the rest of my portfolio is declining, these stocks would be improving and it would hedge my losses a little bit. Is this the best portfolio strategy? I have no idea. If you talk to experts, would they recommend this? I'm 99.9% .9 sure they would say what I'm doing is reckless. So why am I doing it? Because I can and it's what I think makes sense and it'll be fun to watch what happens and we'll see together if it wor is worthwhile. Let's move on to Jim Cramer. When I'm thinking about shorting stocks, just like I do with the market, I wanna stay diversified. That means with the market, generally you want at least 20 to 30 stocks from different sizes and different industries in order to keep your portfolio diversified. That means if banking all falls, you don't have all of your stocks in banking or if tech slides, not everything in your portfolio is concentrated in tech. So for me, I know that when I do these short positions, I want them to be from a bunch of different places. That's what made me think about Jim Cramer. Jim Cramer is an entertainer first. He's not some sort of crazy financial analyst in a back room. So I thought Jim Cramer does a really nice job of covering random companies that come across his desk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the first three companies he talks about this morning is inspiration for things to short. The reason that I'm doing this is because I think that the market may go down in the future. And so I'm not as worried about individual stocks going down as I am the whole tide lowering. And because of this, I'm less concerned with picking the right ones that are gonna fail and instead just want coverage across three random ones so that if everything goes down, I'm sure that one of the three that I have will fall with it. So I turned on CNBC and I saw three companies right away from Jim Cramer. First one that he talks about is Delta, so let's hear what he has to say. But people are going places, and they're on Delta. The load factors are incredible. Look, you can't get enough planes. People are traveling like they never have because they understand that there's only a limited amount of time, and we're not gonna just sit there. These people, by obviously, the people who are working at home, they're still working at home. They haven't come back yet. That's insane, but we don't know if they're really at home. His next recommendation was Meta. News not challenged on many fronts, Meta. 
they have trounced everyone. Street numbers likely to be way too low, according to TD Cowan. Reels engagement and monetization on fire. Potential for further cost cuts. They're going to be just th uh, just flooded with money. Threads optionality. You know, what can I say? It is their time. Now, if you look at this, you say to yourself, well, have you missed it? But up 160%. But the world's going their way. What I'm saying is, is that you're going to have EPS here that it's just going to blow you away. Just going to blow you away. And finally, the last one that he talks about is PPG. I know PPG yesterday, 52-week high. That um, was a good example. Um, people thought, cost coming down. People thought we kind of exhausted that trade, Jim. People no. had retrofitted their homes for COVID. No, done no, everything they, they could. They're back. They're making their homes look great because why not? They're not going they're anywhere. They're not moving. They can't, they can't lose that three percent. Look, you double your mortgage. Who wants to do that? Make your house look a little better. Right. Uh, and they're going back to Lowe's and they're going back to Home Depot. You can probably see from these videos, he's not like co-signing his name that these are gonna go up, but he spins them in a positive light. And when I woke up, I decided that that's how he's gonna do it because it would take way too long for me to determine where he's really trying to push a stock for everyone to buy. These three all have positive notes from Kramer and they just so happen to be in very different industries. We have tech, we have like consumer goods and then we have airlines. And so I thought that this was really nice coverage to get me diversified enough across a few shorts where if the market comes down, I'm hopeful that one of these will also go down. True to the title of this video, I went ahead and I shorted these stocks. So I think I shorted Meta about 4,000, Delta 3,000 and PPG about 3,000. And we'll see what happens next. If the market continues to tear, I'm sure companies like Meta are gonna go with it. I'm gonna lose a lot of money on this short. But if the whole market starts to come down, I wouldn't be surprised if I pick up a little bit of money from Delta and Meta. And that's not to say that I'm a big winner here because it means the rest of my portfolio is gonna go down, but it would mean that I have a successful hedge going on. And that's ultimately what I was trying to do here by shorting the first three things that Jim Cramer said. Okay, if you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. I am a new channel and it would greatly, greatly help me. Also, if you could hit that like button, that would be great too. Of course, I will follow up to this video in a few months just so you can see how this decision all met out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.